what are the different clauses we have in sql hi i am m asif hussain from nohav academy in this video let me guide you what exactly is the word clause defines what are the different types of clauses we have in sql server how to use all the clauses with a simple example for each of the clause when i mention the word clause it means that there should be a connection or there should be a relation with certain condition that you would like to apply for a specific query so if i talk about the different types of clauses that we have in our sql server then we have select clause we have where clause we have group by clause we have having clause and we have order by clause so the point is many of you might have a question that select we have even seen under dql which is data query language yes under data query language also we have this uh, select statement the select command and this select is also used as a clause in order to select the records from a table okay in order to fetch the records from a table it's very simple and uh, that's we have already seen it in our previous videos if you want to see some records if you want to select some records and if you want to view it then we go with the uh, select command you know we here we call it a select clause now when i talk about the next clause which is where where is a condition now whenever you are writing a select statement whenever you are using the select clause many of the times okay very 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 rare out of only one or two percent uh, of time in the whole uh, project you are working on in a real time we use a simple select statement or we use a we write a simple select query 98 percent we write the select query we write the select command we use select command we write the select statement with the condition so what condition you would like to apply then we go with the where condition we use the clause called where in order to apply a condition the next clause that we have is group by okay it is uh, if i talk to you about the definition about the group by then it you know it groups the rows based upon one or more columns so if i make you understand it in a very clear way with a general example let me give you a general example so the example is that we have the customer records for example customer id 1 2 3 4 5 and we have customer names and they are from which city most of the times what happens the customer record ids might get repeated okay customer id 1 came multiple times 2 came multiple times 3 came multiple times 4 came multiple times 5 came multiple times now if i would like to see being a developer or from a client's perspective or from the manager's perspective if they would like to see what is the total sales done by the customer id 1 then as one is repeated multiple times if you use group by it will group all the num one customer ids with how many ones it is repeated it will group into one and it will show you the one value in the same way it will group all the customer ids two into one and it will show the total value so that's where group by comes into the picture I'll show you with the example. Then, if I talk about the having class, okay. So, as I told you that whenever we are using a select statement, we use where as a condition, okay. So now, whenever you are using group by, you have to use having, okay. You cannot use where there. You we have, we have to use having clause whenever we are using group by in a query. So what will having do that is also a type of uh, condition as where but the point is that we have to have the aggregate value you know, we need to have the aggregate value if you would like to segregate it out of it for example this group by and having example if I would like to take about if I uh, talk to you about the interview perspective then most of the times in SQL interview wherever you go they will ask you how to find the duplicate records from a table how to find out the duplicate records from a table then this group by and having clause will help you a lot so what you do 
you write the select statement you write the aggregate function you write the from which table you are extracting the columns you use group by with a column name and you use having if it is greater than one it means that that is duplicate so like this group by and having will come into the picture and the next one we have order by order in what order you want either you want it in an ascending order or you want it in a descending order what is ascending order from small value to the bigger value what does descending order from bigger value to the smaller value so if you want to see the sales in a descending order you can use the uh, order by clause here if you want to see some price in ascending order you can see it here so let me show you each one of these things with one example so for this i am taking a few tables so if i execute you the sales table so in this sales table i have uh, these columns now if i give you an example for a where clause okay so what i am writing i am writing select statement star indicates that i would like to see my entire table so from from which table i would like to see all the columns i would like to see from my sales table okay so i would like to see all the columns from my sales table but there is a condition okay so what is the condition for that i am using where where please i am telling to sql server that show me those sales which are in between 22000 and 90000 show me those sales value which are in between 22000 and 9000 so again here between and end are the operators so what i am telling i am telling to sql server that please show me all the records from a sales table who have the sales in between 22000 and 90000 so that's where where condition i'm using it you can write one condition also for example sales equal to 22000 okay if you if any value which is equal to 22000 you'll get it but i'm giving some range right so in between 22000 and 90000 i would like to see the values so if i execute it you can see that there is only one record who has the value in between 22000 and 90000 okay so so here there is one important thing it is not or okay it is not or you might have a question why only one value we have so it is not or if either 22000 or 90000 no it is not correct it is both okay it's between 22000 and 90000 i'm using and here so that's where i'm getting one record right so that's where uh, where can be helpful and this is how where can be used in order to apply yeah? condition is a where clause if i talk to you about the next clause which is group by so here in this group by clause it's very simple what i am doing i am grouping so for this let me show you the sales table so in this sales table you can see that the segment ids if you observe this segment id column the segment ids are repeated so one is repeated multiple times right again 3 is repeated multiple times again 2 is repeated multiple times so what i am doing i am grouping it okay so what i am doing i am grouping it i am grouping what i am grouping segment id okay so for this what i am writing i am writing the select statement where i am giving a sum of sales so i am clubbing all the sales for example i want to see what is the total sales for the value segment id 1 what is the total sales for the segment id 2 what is the total sales for segment id 3 so like that if i would like to see i have done the total sales here sum of sales as total sales this is the column header column name that i would like to see in the output and i am choosing this sales from which table i am choosing it from my sales table so now what i am doing i am using the clause called group by as i have multiple segment ids repeated i am clubbing all these i am grouping all these segment ids into one so all once repeated multiple times it will become one value all repeated segment id is 2 it will club into 1 all segment id is 3 repeated multiple times it will club into 1 so if i show it to you here if i execute it we can see that 
all the segment id 1 this is the total sales for segment id 2 this is the total sales for segment id 3 this is my total sales so rather than seeing you the multiple repeated values you can club into one by using a group by and you can find out your total sales value so this is one example and uh, the rest of the examples it will be for example if i talk you about the employee table okay so one employee has taken leaves how many times okay if you want to check it out so uh, for example i'm employee id 101 okay so 101 employee id with the name asif hussein he has taken leaves seven times in three months okay so multiple times it will club into all these uh, 101 it will club into one and it will show the total value as seven okay so that's how the group by uh, works into the picture now if i talk about the next clause which is having having clause so as i told you i would like to see okay so the customer names which are repeated more than one okay for this what i am doing uh, i am grouping okay i am using group by then i am using having so that is the condition i have taken it to you that i am using group by with having so for this i am writing a select statement first i am counting the customer names how many customers i have that i am counting it okay so for this in the column header i would like to see the column name column header in the output as total customers that's where i have written as and in a single quotation so i am even i would like to even see the city column in my output that's why i am writing the city column here so from from which table i am considering these from customer table so whatever the column name you are mentioning in the group by that you have to write it in a select statement so i am using group by city so i would like to see i would like to see the cities with a customer name so how many customers i have received from each city so that's why i'm grouping the cities so having out of these multiple customers i'm counting it and i'm showing that greater than or equal to one so if i execute this one you can see that from the city from the city akron there are two customers from the city allen there is one customer so like this the cities are clubbed okay so the cities are grouped there are multiple for example if you consider that allen city might be repeated multiple times okay so if for example that andover city might be repeated multiple times so you what are you doing you are clubbing all those you are grouping all those cities and you are showing that how many customers you have got from that city so that's where i have written this group by and having clause okay so very interesting and very easy thing in the same way you can write down how many uh, uh, repeated values or how many duplicate values we have in a table and that's how we can write it using a group by and having clause this is a very important interview question now the next one is by order clause order clause if i want to see something in a descending order or if i want to see something in an ascending order so for this what i am doing uh, i have taken a sales table and from this i am choosing for example if i would like to retrieve you and show you the sales table so in this sales table i have different columns now i am choosing segment id column quantity column and sales column from my sales table now what i am doing i am writing order by clause i am writing order by clause order by for which column for sales column you need to mention the column name okay you are doing order for what column you are doing order i am doing order for the sales column in which order you want to see i want to see it in the descending order okay in the same way i am selecting these three columns from which table from sales table i am writing order by it means that you want to order what i want to order the sales table in which order you want to see you want to see it in ascending order so if i show this one and execute it we can see that all the sales all the sales have come in a descending order so 22 638 17 499 13 11 so it has come in a descending order you know, from bigger value to the smaller value in the same way if i would like to show it in an ascending order i would like to see the sales in an ascending order so we can see that in a ascending order from smaller value to the bigger value so that's how descending order and ascending order you have to write it please make sure that whenever you are writing the clause order by you need to specify you need to mention 
for which a column you would like to apply this order so either for uh, sales or for any value that you are considering depending upon the requirement then you have to mention which order first to order by then for which column then the order either descending or, or ascending so that's where order by clause comes into the picture so these are the different types of clauses that we have in sql so we have where clause we have group by clause we have order clause we have having clause and sell it also comes into this one so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning